hey what's up guys welcome to another video and in this particular video again we are going to continue the same iot security or router analysis so again we are going to perform another firmware analysis over here but this time around we will look at what are the network attack that you can do or maybe what are the network attack that you can think of uh, while going about uh, performing the firmware analysis so i am going to show you both the side the first one we will see as a forensic investor or investigator sorry to check about what are the vulnerability that we can look for while going about a forensic analysis of a router that might cause some network attack in a particular organization so usually how this attack work is like some attacker will uh, plant the particular firmware to different router and probably he might have the or she might have the backdoor connection to a remote system of all those uh, router right this is a bigger hack that typically can happen in organization now there are multiple way to send uh, the firmware or modified firmware to different uh, system within network like they can use isr evil trade they can use iter cap better cap we'll going to talk about um, software attack spoofing uh, vulnerability or maybe software attack spoofing attack um, in a particular different video but over here we are going to focus on the router analysis part so if you are new to this channel then please go ahead and subscribe you can also watch the previous video to follow more depth about the router analysis stuff so let's use binwalk again so again i have this particular uh, firmware over here with me so i'm going to say binwalk hyphen e and i'm going to say firmware dot bin okay so so that it will extract it i'm sorry about the dog barking but yeah that's something i cannot control <laughs> once you run this particular command bin work hyphen e this is how you are going to see it. and also i can show you the different extracted file that is just now created now let's just go ahead and jump into it so i can say cd underscore the extracted file now again as i suggested you need to browse through all those different folders and uh, find out what all sensitive information that you can enumerate now i have also seen in some of the ctf as well uh, these kind of challenges are hosted in uh, miscellaneous section where they will give you some you know file or maybe some of the firmware to find out the flag and other things so probably you can also follow the same approach that i am going to show you over here so let's just go ahead and uh, check what is there inside the squash fs root directory so again you could see that there are multiple folder within it most of the time different script are kept inside the temp directory so i would suggest you to see the temp directory even in root directory if there is some flag or other stuff but over here let's just go ahead and uh, check some other directory as well so since i know already not want to waste you you know giving more time so if i go to um, this cat folder i mean sorry etc folder there i can see there are different uh, scripts which are already kept right so i can also check at uh, you know what is there inside config uh, to see what exactly info information that i can enumerate so i can say ls sorry cd config right now most of the time you will also find some of the router credential in this particular you know folder but again uh, right here we are going to look at some of the network point of view so i am going to say cd init.d or i uh, think there are some other sensitive file already there right so you could see that there is one of the file called as firewall so let's have a look at that now if you look at this firewall let me reduce the zoom so that you get some better idea okay now this is the firewall uh, you know uh, file that is typically written for a uh, different rule and uh, yeah there is nothing much interesting over here let's uh, look at firewall there is one other file uh, right and have a look at that so if you look at this firewall a uh, particular file so you could see there are some of the interesting information over here so let's uh, look at this start underscore service so over here it is basically uh, creating service now here is one of the variable uh, called as result now result is equal to says like prepared underscore cmd and then there is this cmd now if i go back over here uh, it says basically number 64 that particular means that uh, prepared underscore cmd is basically this particular function echo dollar 
and process then again you have number which is the number variable it will pick that is 64 and hyphen d is basically for decoding and uh, yeah process is basically equal to <coughs> base so it's basically performing in base 64 decoding of this particular command string so let's just go ahead and quickly see what is the actual you know value that is stored inside this this 64 encoded value now from a uh, network attacker or modification attack point of view what you can look at is like uh, how this particular attack is done in a particular network environment now consider you are pushing a router firmware to all those router or let's say cisco router within the network now what way you can think of is like uh, you create a, a firmware with modified content so what you do basically you pick any particular service or maybe some of the init script uh, like over here and uh, then you check like what all modify that you can do uh, in order to make a or create a backdoor like here the attacker has done for creating a simple like uh, modified i would say a command uh, basically to create a netcat reversal which we will see by decoding the base 64 value now you can uh, do it right away also you can use a copy or you can check the same way so you can use some online decoder or even you can do the the same that we usually do in Kali Linux. like you can follow this command echo then you will say the value and you just want to decode it base 64 hyphen d now this will tell me what exactly is the uh, you know base 64 decoded value that is netcat hyphen l and this particular port so this way we have just perform like a forensic to find out uh, where is the reverse shell that or where is the modifiers uh, backdoor or script something that is written to give a back i mean reverse connection to a particular router so being an attacker it will be slight different again being an attacker attacker will modify the router uh, firmware and uh, supply that to the victim system and get a reversal right but here we just notice like how this attack is done so i believe you would have got some both the idea as an attacker as well as an forensic investor investigator to find out uh, or catch this particular vulnerability so i hope this video would have helped you in some way if you like the content do press the like button if you have any comment if you want to make me to make some video on some specific content on firmware analysis then do let me know and I do have some, uh, you know, Attack Defense Academy uh, membership with me. So that's why I am creating some video with respect to that. And again, these, all these videos are for educational purpose. Do not misuse it. And thanks for watching this video. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Take care.